the return to nature to a British farm at the Nepp Estate rewilding. White stalks can be seen free flying in this area of a rewilding project on the Weald of West Sussex. Reintroduction of white stalks to the Nepp Estate the first wild stalk chicks to hatch in Britain for centuries. Parent stalks share the role of scavenging the land for prey, such as grasshoppers, rodents, small mammals, reptiles, fish, amphibians. Most of its food is from the ground among low vegetation and from shallow water. A ring female stork came to Nep Estate from Warsaw Zoo in Poland. The male stork, however, has no identifying ring, so this is likely to be a vagrant stork which visits this area each year. The parent stork interaction with the chicks at feeding time which is a free-for-all until the parent stalk regurgitates more food for the chick who isn't getting any. The rewilding project provides small mammals and nesting birds as well as protection from predators. With increased vegetation, the woodland and the scrub cover here encouraging and increasing invertebrates, insects, rarities. Oh, they're everywhere. Restoration naturally allowing nature to take over. Rare habitat is encouraged to the natural changing landscape, giving nature the benefit of the doubt. The white stalks, which dates back to the Middle Ages in Britain, has I proved to be a shit. successful reintroduction. Once intensely farmed has been restored to rewilding, using grazing animals as the drivers of the habitat creation. High up on top of an oak tree in a field, you will hear the bill clacking sound coming from the top of the tree. When the parent stalks fly in to feed the young chicks, who are waiting desperately for their feed, the elegant flight approach as the yeah. parent stalks land on the nest. The excitement of the flapping of their wings, impatient chicks show their hunger, wanting more food from the parent stalks. Then, out of nowhere, the male stalk flies in and perches in attendance. We know it's a male stalk because there is no identifying ring. Nep, another week dominated by the stalks born to be wild. Wings flapping, ready for flight.
flexing their wings, the chicks have flown from the nest and fly freely and forage in the surrounding ragwort landscape. When the parent stalks fly in with more food, they encourage the chicks to fly up to the nest to feed. Having flown from the nest, the chicks acclimatise themselves at ground level, as they stalk authoritatively with not a care in the world. So did the, were the ponies in the field behind us? I didn't see any ponies. No. Not now, but we saw them at the end. First thing in the morning there was a yeah. whole bunch yeah. of them. Yeah. 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 They usually, the herd of ponies, usually the first thing in the morning. They were there in the morning. Members of the public visit every day and wait intensely for the parent storks to fly in with more food for the chicks. The telepathic understanding, transmitting thoughts and actions of the parent storks, encouraging their chicks to follow in flight back to the nest for feeding, interacting in such a way as to have their effect on each other. A lot of activity up there. Where's the third one? That's the three are in there. Are they? The herds of cattle and horses lumbering and running through the landscape. Their physical presence bring an alarming jolt of surprise when they decide to make a move, which are allowed to run freely. The Tamford pigs create disturbance, rooting out under the soil for the earthworms and such like. Yeah. With minimum human intervention and with herds of free roaming animals stimulating this new habitat, this wilding land is now weaving with life. Rare species such as the turtle doves, falcons, purple emperor butterflies, nightingales are all now breeding on this nepostate. 
not to mention the cattle, horses, pigs and deer.